hey everybody welcome in and did anyone get up and see all the notifications and the the event uh, information like hmm really is that is that really what I see Zerg the Queen's clash is back and now everybody has a chance to get Zerg. Everyone's been waiting. I have gone and claimed my attempts for today uh, because it is nearly the end of the day and I've just had, um, had a lot of things to do so far. So today is not going to be me playing through it, but I am going to speak on uh, some of the value from this event and what you're going to expect, some of the differences um, from the last event to this event, uh, good and bad, um, so we'll jump into that, and, and to start, I'm just going to say, the actual event itself, has they've added a whole lot more coins, which is great. Now, on this, if we're starting from level 1, level 1, I believe, uh, let me see if I can, mm, level 1, I believe, started with, started with 10,000, I believe, 10,000, um, 10,000 heart coins, which is enough for one uh, one chest only, but the thing is, they only give it to you in 500 amounts. So I believe the reason why they have done that is to, for people who don't have any downtown villains, or maybe just the one free given one, like the Syndrome or the Demona at the start, and they only have it like level 1 or level 2, they're not going to run out of content after one day. That even if the event goes on and they don't have enough characters, they will still be able to play through and look forward to getting that one, um, that one chest unlocked or two chests or three chests, whatever. If they get to actually to uh, two star, um, now with that, so that means that the first one here had ten thousand, and also they reduced the amount of Zerg tokens. Um, I'm just going to see if I can pull this up actually for you all because um, this will help a lot. This will help a lot, a lot. So if I was to go in here and... Now, here, we have some of the screenshots. This is what level 1 is like. So you're getting 10,000 with one Zerg. And then level 2, you're getting two Zerg with 20,000. And so they've got the reduced amount, so only 1,500 to get them. So that I believe that is just because to give some of the lower levels, so not everyone's getting previously, everybody got like 2,000 or so, 2,500, every attempt. 2,000 like that, something like that. Um, I'll check my last video, or you can go and check if you're really interested. Um, but I believe they've done that for the lower level, so they feel like they're still doing something and progressing. Now, going ahead, there is less Zerg tokens. Previously, it was 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and then down to like 10, and then 15 at the end. Um, and that was nearly enough to unlock Zerg, and then you'd use the rest of the tokens to get pull Zerg. Now, that has changed, but they have also added a whole lot more coins in, which is good. But one other thing is they've also reduced the amount of gear in this event. So you've got to get all the way up to five star before you're getting five tokens of his. That being said, you can still get a lot of the coins and go from there. Um, <clears throat> other than that the they've got a, like a face value reduced on the zerg tokens but they've given you a whole lot more coins to be able to get them from the chests so 
thank you all um, for helping me. Um, and now, if we jump back to the game, what we are going to see is, yes, they, they have had reduced uh, basic giving of uh, Zerg tokens, but is it all that bad? Because I believe they've given out, out far more coins, because previously I got all the event coins and my Zerg is still level 6 star. I invested quite heavily into the Zerg event last time it came around. But I still couldn't max him. And I we always thought that there was something that was going to change. And we th thought that they were holding back just so everyone doesn't max him early. Unless the people who paid and they got, got to get him. So potentially there are going to be Zerg packs coming forward. Um, but what I what I uh, tried for is to get as much as I can and there's my day. So if I had waited, I would have lost one day of refreshes and that would have been terrible. Um, but what I can do is request a fresh now. Um, keep on top of your doing as much as you can every day and your refreshes. Um, because that's going to give you three from the event plus one per day. So four per day is actually going to get you a decent amount. Um, if you can get up to the four star, when you start getting 250, uh, 2,500 per day, just basic, that's going to give you one chest per day. Now, I would highly recommend doing the 100 refresh. The 100 refresh, I believe, is very worth it. It's nice that they've actually brought back the 100 refresh because in all these other events that we've seen, it's been 150. So it's nice that they've actually given a break for that. And I believe at 100 is worth it. You can get those 100 gems easily per day. And I believe it is, it is worth the investment into it. Now, even if you don't have all of the downtown characters, there are packs in store, which I will be going over in a separate video. I'll do like a whole downtown's villain packs. Um, but I want to talk about this main chest here in today. So you only get between 1 to 10 Zerg uh, coins. And they have nerfed the rates to be slightly more like what we've seen in the other character exclusives um, so far. And, and global, so you got 56% chance to get the two. I think last time you had a high chance to get three, and then slightly lower of two, and then four. But I'm sure it was like pretty much 20% or something like that on, on four last time. Um, it definitely wasn't 50%, I think it was like 30 or 40, and then down to 30, and then 20, and then down like that so there's a little bit more chance to get higher so they've just dropped it down a little bit but remember that they have given us more coins so i think that'll play in part of it now you may be saying is it worth it if i can't unlock zerg the answer for me i would say is yes you've still got this extra chest down here which is going to be giving you five downtown villains tokens by going through and getting these Minimum, you're going to be increasing your downtown's villain roster. Then your next time around, if not even this time, you will be able to progress further. Now, this is one chest that I really do like, and this is what I was missing in, say, the Incredibles chest, is that there, there was no help in the progression, whereas this one, the reward chest, actually help you with the progression toward the main character. So if you're short on some tokens, boom, you can get these, you can get your Zerg tokens, and then you're also getting some of the downtown characters, and hopefully if you get enough, you'll be able to star up some of your characters and continue on. So I think that is actually a very good bonus um, in that. Um, also, they have included runes, so they're giving you 1 to 5 alphas, and people have been needing those, so they are listening. They're starting to include them a little bit more. So if you are neat, that'll be increasing the value even more. For people who need them so if you need runes also 
get Zerg tokens, get downtown villains, and get a few get a few uh, ruins. So I think on on that circumstance, it is worth it. Um, there are gem packs here. I will go that in a separate video as I was mentioning. But if you are short of one character to progress, I would sneak peek. I would re recommend potentially investing a little bit into that character if it is going to give you the whole team. So if you've got like um, three, four stars and you're just short of one um, to continue on to the next part of the event, I would I would say, recommend maybe uh, going for that fourth character um, to get some stars up. Now, for the event itself, I did mention that the the gear has was nerfed a little bit. Was it actually nerfed? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking about it compared to the Incredibles because the Incredibles was a higher. So I may actually be wrong there, but it's nice to be able to. I think this is actually what it was like. It's nice to be getting gear. It's always nice to be getting gear, and it's all well more than welcomed. Um, everybody needs <laughs> gear and that'll help you progress no matter what stage you're on. It doesn't scale up that, mu that much. Um, so if you can get to the five or six stars, it's going to give you round about what the equivalent level should be at for the, the items that you need to progress your gear um, for the recommended uh, levels for the tiers of gear. Now, for this event as a whole, some people are calling it like a a, a money grab. Uh, they're putting the prices way up again. I, to an extent, yes, but that is because that it seems to be the new after the global standard of what the prices there they are setting. Now, am I happy about that? Mm, not particularly. Um, as I'm sure a lot of people aren't, they're like, I think previously these packs were maybe about 500, um, for these characters. So I'd rather spend 500 than 800, but going in line with the other chests that we've seen, um, I, I can see why it is 800, although even the Mulan last time went down, dropped down to 600, which was nice. So I think they're still playing around with their, with their costs of what they actually want to charge in-game. So good and bad. Good and bad. Um, it's going to click my daily gems incoming. So first place, 300 gems. Ka ching And then I'll grab some of the other daily rewards. And my thank you, thank yous. Get my 10 packs. And also, man, they they went through and they rewarded us all for the few days that Tower was a bit bugged. So there's going to be extra few 70 gems right there, as well as a whole lot of um, spell mats and Tower mats. So that is well, well welcomed. Um, very, very nice, and as soon as I saw this, I was just like, oh, yes, this is, this is going to be it, Zerg is coming, ha, 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 it was just awesome, it's, it's awesome to see that Zerg has now come back, people will have a chance at it, I would highly recommend going for it, anyway, doing the minimum investment of, say, like 100 um, cost refresh to get more coins, so that, uh, so that you can jump in and get more chances at uh, pulling, pulling Zerg. Now I've got to figure out for myself. Am I going to do refreshes myself since I do have a six star Zerg and I just need my last few, and that is all going to be depending on how I've got four pulls. So let's give this a go. And 
three. Okay, the three is actually going to be good because I know the lower, it's going to be biased more to two. 50% chance is going to be about two. So there we go. So what I would recommend people budget on um, is the two. Because as you see here, even though I got lucky. Ooh, a four. So that, that's actually quite nice. So I have just gotten, what, 11 uh, Zerg tokens there. So I'm going to plan for myself. This is going to be an event where I save my gem, but that is only because I've heavily invested in it in the past times it came, just before global. But I do recommend, even if you don't have very many downtown villains, I would recommend get as plan your event. So the event is 10 days long or 11 days. Plan how much you can get every day. So if you go up and if you can see in, in the events that, okay, I have got, uh, let's say, let's say I have uh, three stars. I've got a three three-star team. And now, so that for the three three-star team, you'll have 50,000 of these coins. And so you can actually see there that this is what was left over. So this is how much extra coins that they're giving now. So all these coins here that you can see in this event are the extra coins that they're now added in that were previously non-available. So they've added in a lot more chances to get tokens, which is nice. And that means a whole lot more downtown villains. That means you all get to increase your downtown villains, heroes, carry villains, not heroes. And more chances for Zerg as well. So I think that's a bonus, and I do like that they had left the uh, 100 gem refresh. Um, so that is a bonus. It'll go 100, 200, 400. So I would recommend the 100. If you've got a decent, like, coming first place, um, landing top of your tournament, and you're going all in, you've got villains, I'd say do the 200 as well. If it's going to progress you, and you're not going to run out of coins to pull. Um, so that is the only, only thing. So plan how far you can get out of your 10 days. Say if you're at three star, it'll take you, how long is that going to take? Um, hmm. Let's have a quick calculation for you all. <laughs> 25 attempts. 25 attempts, yeah, so if you've got three stars, you're going to be going at that for a whole lot, so you, for 25 attempt, attempts, four free per day, that means you're going to get about, what, 40 attempts, but then you're going to be getting uh, downtown villains as well throughout this, so as well as the, you've got the two star, another 20,000 and the ones, I'd say, I'd easily say, do the one refreshes at least. And if you're going all in and you know you're going to be getting more downtown villains during this time, do the do the second refresh at 200 would be my recommendations. Um, so I think the event as a whole... I like that they did upgrade update the last tier. So previously, just before global, was the last time we saw this. And this last level, you can see there that I've actually three-starred the event. And I did that on the last video. But now I can't, currently can't do it because I need tier 7. So I need to get that Randall up to tier 7. Previously, tier 7 didn't come in until global came. So... So, very interesting. I can't wait to jump in and to do this. I will do a couple of videos um, on this event using Zerg in it and see if you can use Zerg and the Shadow. Um, and I'm just really excited to to see how everybody gets on. Um, 
So we'll leave it there and enjoy your gear that you get from it. Enjoy the extra downtown villains. Get them, stack up your team. Make it the best that you can. We'll see you next time.